Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. I'm reading this review from Sarah Smith. It says, my kids love all Mr. Jim's stories and we literally listen to them all day long from morning to night. <laughs> And Zachary wants to be a super fast cheetah. That is awesome. I love it. Maybe we will turn that into an adventure. Thank you for sending that review. That means a lot to me. I read those every single day. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Igor was a brand new adult Goliath beetle. At three inches long, he was the biggest critter in his area of Southeast Africa. Do you know what a Goliath beetle is? Oh, they're amazing. They're ginormous. Well, at least for a beetle. Igor wasn't uh, really sure what his name meant, but he knew that he was big and strong. As a young pupa and larva, he'd been told stories about Goliath beetles of days past. He wanted to try to live up to the expectation of being a Goliath beetle. Did you know Goliath beetles have six legs, pincher claws, and big wings? Yes, they are capable of climbing trees and flying, even at their super big size. They are brown or black and have webbed designs on their backs. They're pretty cool looking. Well, today was a beautiful day, and Igor was a brand new young adult, and he was still trying to get the hang of uh, what his life should look like. He knew he had a lot of power, but deep down he was actually uh, quite a little skittish. Do you know what skittish means? It means he was quick to get scared and fly away. Before he even had a chance to make some new friends... He was often afraid and he would get scared and fly away and hide in some leaves or on the other side of a tree. I wish I was braver and had some friends, he thought. How am I supposed to do something big if I can't even muster up the courage to introduce myself to some critters in the neighborhood? Igor was really starting to feel sad was losing hope of finding his purpose. Have you ever felt like that? You just don't quite, you're not exactly sure who you are or what you're good at? Yeah, that's exactly what Igor is feeling. Well, he was at home right now and was feeling a little, a little sleepy, like he needed to take just a little nap. All right, I'm going to lay down and then when I wake up, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be, uh... Something amazing. I'm not sure yet what, but a nap will fix everything. Hey, whoever's in there, you're it! Shouted a voice from outside. Oh, wow, that happened fast. I didn't realize the nap would work that quickly. Oh, okay, I'm coming! I wonder who it is. Igor looked down below him and saw a group of small dung beetles running around. Oh, maybe I can make friends with them. They seem nice. Igor climbed down and started walking towards the group of dung beetles. Before he got even close enough to say a word, they started to scream. Ah! It's a Goliath! Their screaming startled Igor and he took flight. He flew as fast as he could towards the tree ahead of him. He was crying and dropped down under some wet leaves. He was so scared and embarrassed and... Uh, that didn't work, he thought. I'm just not cut out for this. I, I don't know what to do. Igor decided to stay hidden in his wet, dark hiding spot. 
and actually did fall asleep. Just then he opened his eyes and he was in the middle of a, of a, what? A soccer field? Igor, you're amazing. How did you know we needed another player for our dung ball gang? Shouted one of the dung beetles. Igor had somehow landed in the middle of an amazing championship dung ball game. Do you know what dung ball is? Oh yeah, the dung beetles, they love to roll around and kick balls of poop. Yes, real poop. <laughs> yes, dung is another word for poop. And dung beetles, they, have you ever seen a beetle have a little ball of, you know, the brown stuff and they roll it around with their back legs? They can go pretty fast and they even love to play soccer with it. And somehow Igor had found himself in the middle of a championship game. Go, Igor, go! Igor grabbed the poop ball with his legs and started kicking and running as fast as he could. Will he make it into the net before the time expires? Five, four, three. Igor lines up the poop ball, two, shoots, and scores! <laughs> Just as time expires, Igor scored the winning goal. Hooray, Igor, you scored, shouted the team. Igor, Igor, Igor. Igor was so happy to finally uh, be on a team. He didn't even understand how he got there. And he also got to score the winning goal. Have you ever played a sport before? And, and got to score a goal or make a point. Whoa, that can be a really exciting feeling when you're on a team and you get to celebrate together. Oh, I love that. I love team sports. I love doing things together with other friends. But then everything changed. Igor blinked his eyes, blink, blink. And all of a sudden, the soccer field was gone and it was nothing but pitch black darkness. Wait a second. Where am I? What's going on? What do I... Ah! Igor the Goliath Beetle just started to scream and cry. What in the world is going on? How did he go from a championship game to pitch black darkness? What in the world is happening? I'm not sure, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Hey, friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Diego, who's turning four years old. Diego loves all things sea creatures and dinos or dinos that live in the sea. <laughs> He loves knock knock jokes and is hilarious. Wow, Diego, I'm so glad that we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fourth birthday, Diego. Friends, if you want to celebrate your big day on the show, have your parents look down in the show notes below and click on the link to learn more about how you can get your birthday shout out on the schedule. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.